Anne of Green Gables after Lucy Maud Montgomery. Quotes. Isn't it splendid to think of all the things there are to find out about? It just makes me feel glad to be alive it's such an interesting world. It wouldn't be half so interesting if we know all about everything, would it? There'd be no scope for imagination then, would there? But am I talking too much? People are always telling me I do. Would you rather I didn't talk? If you say so I'll stop. I can stop when I make up my mind to it, although it's difficult. Oh, it's delightful to have ambitions. I'm so glad I have such a lot. And there never seems to be any end to them, that's the best of it. Just as soon as you attain to one ambition you see another one glittering higher up still. It does make life so interesting. But if you have big ideas you have to use big words to express them, haven't you? Life is worth living, as long as there's a laugh in it. Which would you rather be if you had the choice divinely beautiful or dazzlingly clever or angelically good? It's all very well to read about sorrows and imagine yourself living through them heroically, but it's not so nice when you really come to have them, is it? But really, Marilla, one can't stay sad very long in such an interesting world, can one? I read in a book once that a rose by any other name would smell as sweet, but I've never been able to believe it. I don't believe a rose would be as nice if it was called a thistle or a skunk cabbage. The world calls them its singers and poets and artists and storytellers, but they are just people who have never forgotten the way to fairyland. We pay a price for everything we get or take in this world, and although ambitions are well worth having, they are not to be cheaply won, but exact their dues of work and self-denial, anxiety and discouragement. It is ever so much easier to be good if your clothes are fashionable. I love bright red drinks, don't you? They taste twice as good as any other color. Next to trying and winning, the best thing is trying and failing. Perhaps love unfolded naturally out of a beautiful friendship. As a golden-hearted rose slipping from its green sheath. The world looks like something God had just imaged for his own pleasure, doesn't it?